one of the region teammates here. Here's my throwback segment where I talk about the films that turns 10 and 23. Alright, the films turning 10, holy cow, we got a big one. The films literally turning 10 this week, we got Green Lantern. Yeah. Green Lantern hits 10 years old this week. So of course, the uh, comic book film starring Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, directed by Martin Campbell. Could have been good, but that Green Lantern movie was a bit small. What like it's horrible. You know, one of the worst comic film adaptations we've had in years. It's definitely not one to be remembered. So yeah. I mean I, I think even Ryan Reynolds will want us to forget about that. I mean hey, remember Deadpool 2 we actually he pretty much uh went back in, Deadpool went back in time to actually kill uh, Ryan Reynolds so he doesn't make the uh, um Green Lantern scope. I mean, I love how Ron Reynolds actually always pokes fun at his Green Lantern um, stuff in the Deadpool movies. Like, for example, with uh, the first Deadpool, when he tells that guy, don't make the super suit green or animated. That was a funny line. Or, of course, the aftermatch of Deadpool 2, when he goes back in time and stops um, the uh, Green Lantern movie from getting made. <laughs> Pretty fun uh, tip right there. But, yeah, I mean, I love Ryan Reynolds. This dude is so good. Um... But sad to say, um, comic movies he's done before Deadpool had not turned out. Whether that be Blade Trinity, Green Lantern, uh, where he, of course he played Deadpool in um, X Men Watches Wolverine. Uh, but yeah, um, that aside, uh, Green Lantern ooh, definitely not so good. All right, also turning ten. All right, I, I'm gonna get some uh, not so good response for this. But coming, but uh, film turning ten. We got the Jim Carrey classic, Mr. Popper's Penguins. Now, this is, of course, based on a very classic uh, book. You've got, uh, you know, Jim Carrey, who, of course, uh, ends up, um, pretty much ends up finding, um, you know, penguins in his house and stuff like that. Uh, I mean, you got Jim Carrey. You've got uh, Clark Gregg was in this. Uh, you also had Angela Bassett, directed by Mark Waters, who gave with Mean Girls and all. I mean, Mr. Popper's Penguins, while not a great film, I didn't mind it. I found it to be pretty fun. Jim Carrey was definitely... He was pure Jim Carrey. What do you expect from him? You know where you're getting when it comes to Jim Carrey's comedy. And I know he was pretty solid in this. Uh, I love penguins, so seeing those cute little um, penguins around was pretty cool. I didn't mind him so much, so yeah. Uh, also turning 10, we got The Art of Getting By, which stars uh, Freddie Harmon, who plays this uh, character named George. Who is a senior at a uh, most um, Manhattan prep school, uh, but he also rather like um, he he also ends up uh, falling for this uh, you know um, grant, um, for this fellow uh, student named uh, Sally, played by Emma Roberts. Uh, his but uh, George also finds himself uh, f you know falling falling with her, uh, but like this you also got this uh, older artist. Uh, played by Micah Geriano, uh, who also is uh, in the mix. So it's been like a love triangle based film. Uh, you also had, uh, I think Rhea Wilson was also in this. It was a really cute little charming film. Uh, Freddie Highmore and Emma Roberts both had some really good chemistry. I mean, I love Freddie Highmore. I think this dude is so good. I mean, of course, he is best known for, you know, fighting Neverland. He also played Charlie and Charlie and Chalk Factory. He played Norman Bates on that show, Bates Motel. But obviously, most people now would know him as, uh, as you know, Doctor uh, Sean Murphy on uh, ABC's hit show, uh, The Good Doctor. So he's really good on that. Uh, but I think Fred Highmore is always terrific, and I think he was really signed this. It's shame that his film career never really kicked off. But glad to see him on TV. So that's pretty cool. All right. Now turning twenty, we got the uh, film based on the video game Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Of course, starring Angela Jolie as the Tyro of um, Lara Croft. Now, the second one was not so good. But the first Lara Croft with Angela Jolie, uh, John Voight was in the um, the first one too. I thought it was really fun. You know, the action was cool. Angela Jolie, at the hype of her career, done these action stuff really well. I mean, Alicia Vikander is great as Lara Croft in the uh, recent Tomb Raider film. Or I should say Tomb Raider Reaper, I should put it that way. But I still thought the first uh, Lara Croft you know, had some really cool action moments. Uh, Angela Jolie definitely embodied the role perfectly. Uh, this is definitely one of the better movies based on video games. I mean, of course, we know they don't always turn out well. But the first Lara Croft is much better than it had any attention to being. So, the second one is not so good, but the first Lara Croft is really fun. It's a shame we never really got to see Angela Jolie back as like, a girl um, for a third time. But 
after the second one, that's a good reason. Alright, also trying, um, Troy, we got the movie Sexy Days. Uh, and of course, you guys don't know, it's a, a British um, film that follows uh, Gary Galdo, played by Ray Winston, who is this retired ex gangster who is visited by, um, by this violent gangster played by uh, Sir Ben Casey, oh, yeah. who demands um, he takes part of uh, in a bank job. Now, I thought uh, the film uh, Sex Beast was pretty cool. Uh, directed by um, jo uh, Jonathan, you guys name? Uh, he directed that Nicole Kidman movie, bro. Uh, Jonathan, damn, I know his first name is Jonathan. I forgot the uh, director last name now. Uh, but of course, he did that uh, Nicole Kidman movie, bro. He also did that weird Scarlett Johansson uh, alien film. Um, uh, that one where she's like an alien seducing man uh, in the thing uh, under her, under the skin. That's what it's called. Oh, the director's name is John the Glazer. Why did I freeze up on his name? But anyway, he's a pretty cool director. A bit of a weird director, but his movies are pretty decent. And Sexy Beast is a really cool little uh, film. Uh, so if you guys haven't seen it, you know Ray Winston, Star Bank is a really nice little film. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. Which of these films stand out to you the most? The 10 year one, I'm probably going to go with Mr. Poverty's Penguin. That is probably my favorite film of that list. But the 20 year one, I'm probably going to go with the first Lara Croft. Anyway, drop comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu Sion.